Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane. This video is part of my collection series, and today we're going to be going over my 3D Blu-rays. So I remember exactly when 3D Blu-rays were coming out and how the PlayStation 3 was actually compatible with them. All you had to do is find the correct television to do it and stuff like that. And I thought the technology was kind of neat. And then I just kind of ignored it because, well, I started playing World of Warcraft. And while I love the game and I love what it's done for people and stuff, it kind of took over my life, but that's because I let it. Now, back to the movies. Now, a lot of people may remember that I've said in the past that I worked for Blockbuster Video when I was in high school. This helped me gain a better appreciation for movies and film and stuff like that. That appreciation did not get overridden by my absolute love for strange tech. Uh, it's why I have things like laser discs or HD DVDs, which I'll show you those collections later. But my love of 3D Blu-rays actually showed up because of Chris, my DM, the one who runs Statlock 20. He also runs the channel Midlife Crisis Media. Now, Chris is a movie buff as well, probably more of a movie buff than I am. Uh, I just enjoy movies. He's actually able to truly critique them and he's on a whole different level. However, the thing that I learned was that the PSVR on the PlayStation 4 was actually able to display 3D movies in 3D. I thought that was kind of neat. So I started looking for them. I started looking for them in the Dollar General, in the Dollar Tree, in all kinds of pawn shops, in uh, any kind of thrift stores or anything like that. Eventually I started checking them out in uh, Second and Charles because there was a couple of movies that are more difficult to find and stuff. And I just fell in love with it. Now, I also have a couple of uh, 3D Blu-ray players that are standalone. Uh, I have a 3D television that's in my bedroom and, you know, just with the, uh, the normal passive glasses. I never got into the active glasses thing. But again, I really liked the technology. I thought it was kind of neat. Um, it's basically borrowed technology from um, the movie theaters which was based on, well, I think it was actually kind of based on the uh, Sega Master System 3D glasses. Uh, but again, I absolutely love movies and here's my collection. All right, first up, we've got Alice in Wonderland 3D. Uh, I found this in a second in Charles. I believe this was a mail away only for uh, the Disney points because it's just the 3D disc only. There is no other disc. I'm sure that code's already been redeemed. Um, but yeah, there's no other disc, just the 3D movie. And there's a couple of, of these that I have like this. Now we have the Amazing Spider-Man 2. Um, found this one in a thrift store. It's got a thicker case. I don't know why. It feels kind of like a PlayStation 3 case. But, I mean, it's, it's a thicker case and it's clear, which is odd. We have Ant-Man black case. It's, um, well, now it's dual movie. It's just the regular Blu-ray and the 3D movie. Next up, Avatar. There's lots of people that said that this was like one of the movies to get and that my 3D 
Blu-ray collection was not complete without this movie. Up next, Marvel's The Avengers. And uh, yeah, this thing's got five discs in it, but it's the first Avenger, or well, it's the Marvel's Avengers movie. Um, I don't like cases that do this where there's multiple discs stacked on top of each other. It just seems like a bad idea, but that's what they went with. Here's another decision that I don't like. I don't like red cases. I just don't. But that's what they did here. And honestly, if I had a extra 3D Blu-ray case, I would probably swap it out. Then we've got Civil War in the slipcover. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's still Blu-ray and the 3D with a little bit of a booklet. And I liked Civil War. But that's before everyone had all of the Marvel Cinematic Universe burnout. Let's see, where are we going next? Get these ready. Clash of the Titans 3D. Clash of, Clash of the Titans is actually a pretty classic movie. Um, the, this is the more modern remake of it. Uh, I think they did an okay job. It's not perfect, but you know what? It's a remake. Speaking of remakes, here is Conan the Barbarian with Jason Momoa as Conan. I think he did a really good job as Conan. Um, I enjoy the universe. Uh, not nearly as much as my dad. He actually read all of the books and stuff, but I, I liked what I saw. Now, most of these movies I have not seen. I did see Conan and a couple of the others. This is one of the ones I did see. Uh, the Darkest Hour. This is just the 3D movie again. It's, it's very weird. Well, it's just the 3D disc, but both versions are on the same Blu-ray. So you can swap between the options. Uh, this is kind of interesting. The uh, the lightning that comes from the special gun is the, the main star of the 3D, but I think they did all right. I think it was one early when they were trying to figure it out. Here's one that I got for both me and my wife. <clears throat> my, me, because it's 3D, and my wife because, well, it's a horror movie. It's Day of the Dead 3D. I think I had to order this one online. The thing is, is that like the, the, the disc art is so cheesy on this thing that it looks fake, but it's not. It's actually, this one's real. Next, Doctor Who 3D. Not much of a Doctor Who fan. I know, sacrilege, whatever. Um, <clears throat> I am a Star Wars, Star Trek kind of guy. But I picked this up because it was a dollar at the Dollar Tree, back before the Dollar Tree was up to $1.25. We have Drive Angry. I think I got this one off of Amazon. Um, it has the Blu-ray and the 3D, Nicolas Cage. Um, lots of people say this is another must-own on a 3D movie uh, collection. Then we have Dread. This is very good in 3D. I was I was exceedingly happy with how well this turned out. Um, and I want to say that, yeah, both both standard version and the, th the 3D version are on the same disc. Um, yeah, it, this is just a really good movie. Um, oh, I'm blanking on the guy's name, but he does an excellent job of playing Dread get another stack out here all right escape from planet earth it's a kids movie it's it was a dollar um yeah that's i haven't really watched it but i'll get around to it come on next here we go everest there was a couple of companies that kept on putting out 
like odd movies of like things that you'd only see on National Geographic or something. This is not actually one of them. This is actually a real movie. I know it looks like a National Geographic movie, but it actually, I mean, it has Josh Brolin in it and a couple of other people. Um, yeah, they, uh, they actually did a real movie about Everest. I have not watched it yet. I will get around to watching it. We have Exodus, Gods and Kings. I think this is another multi-disc. Yep. Ooh, this is three discs. Um, you know, it, and again, really haven't watched this one. I'll get around to it. We have Gamer in 3D. I did watch Gamer and then I watched Gamer in 3D and I kind of like it in 3D. Um, you know, it has, let's see, this is the 3D Blu-ray, the Blu-ray, the Ultraviolet, which I don't think is kind of around anymore, but correct me if I'm wrong. And then the 2D digital copy. This is kind of interesting. It's a good premise of like dystopian and, and like video games going too far, but you know, probably never gonna happen. Godzilla 3D. Uh, here's the normal, oh no, that's the 3D movie, and here's the normal one. Uh, once I realized that there was a bunch of the Godzilla movies in 3D, I, I kind of had to have them. Next, Gravity in 3D. I am a huge Sandra Bullock fan. And I have found, and it took me forever to find this movie. And I mean forever. I, I spent months. My wife knew about it, which because she was annoyed that I kept on trying to find it and never found it. I got lucky and I found a copy, um, but I think I overpaid for it. I think I paid like 17 bucks for this at Second and Charles and that was used. This is a very good three-dimensional movie. It does have a lenticular cover as, as you can see. And I think they just, they knocked it out of the park. Next. We have Green Hornet in 3D. It's also in one of those like weird clear fat packs. And um, and this is styrene plastic on the inside, which is also kind of weird. Um, but they did okay with this one. I think they were still, I think this was very early and they were still experimenting and they didn't really know what they were doing. And uh, three-dimensional just meant adding only one uh, additional plane or one additional layer to the film as opposed to uh, close up and far away, which is a lot better. Now we have Harry Potter 3D Part 2 Deathly Hallows. Um, I think I have the first one here too. Yep, here's Part 1 Deathly Hallows. So, yep. Got these, uh, very happy about having those. Supposedly they're pretty good in 3D. We have Hercules 3D, picked it up for a dollar at a thrift store. And then we have IMAX Hubble 3D. I think this is my most recent pickup. No, it's not. It's my second to most recent pickup. I picked this up when I was hanging out with Jamie and we went ran around to a couple of different places to Break His Hunting Curse. That, that, that video should be coming out sometime soon. And we have Hugo. I've watched this one. This is actually very good. Uh, this is just a good movie in general, and the 3D just adds to it. It's also on a lot of people's list of a must-have. We have I, Frankenstein 3D. I have not watched this one, but um, some people say it's worth it. Oh, we're getting a little ready, or at least we're trying to be. Let's see, Live, Die, and Repeat. No, that's actually not the name of the movie. The name of the movie is Edge of Tomorrow. And that's right way down here. And like most of these 3D movies, it has a 3D here. Some of them have one down at the bottom, like the I Frankenstein here. But that's, that makes it very difficult. Like it's easy to just hunt for Blu-rays, 
but to hunt for the 3D movies becomes difficult because you have to look for that little 3D thing and sometimes it's not even there. Sometimes it's not even here. Sometimes you have to search through the back to see if there's a 3D mode. Now, here is a BBC, just 3D nature kind of movie. Um, I got it just because it was 3D and it was a dollar. Next up, ooh, slippery. We have a Blu-ray ed deluxe edition of Epic. This is the actual 3D one. Um, it came in a blue case as opposed to a green case like the normal uh, version copy of Epic does, but uh, it's all CG. Um, most of the animated CG stuff that I hear is, is just excellent in 3D. And uh, yeah, so I had to get it. Next, Guardians of the Galaxy in 3D. Um, yeah, I just, I had to. Uh, I, I like Chris Pratt. I don't apologize for that. It's just a, he's funny to me. Um, the the dynamic between all of the, the team members is, is, is just gold. I love it. We have Ice Age Continental Drift 3D. I don't know where this comes in into the Ice Age series, but again, it was like a dollar and I hear the animated stuff is a lot better. And we have Insurgents. Now, this one was kind of hard to figure out because like it's very dark right there um and then it has a lenticular where, where it changes between the characters and it's in the slip cover but again cheap 3d movie had to pick it up couldn't pass it up we have jumper 3d i know i know what you're gonna say but i'm not gonna listen it's a 3d movie there's only one 3D movie that I've continuously passed up. And uh, that was Dolphin's Tale 2 3D. But this is Jupiter Ascending 3D. Um, yeah, I like Channing Tatum. Uh, I like I like my Alabama boys. Uh, you know, we got to we got to stick together and stuff. Um, and, you know, Mila Kunis is uh, very easy on the eyes. And then we have Kung Fu Panda 3D. Uh, I picked this up at a random Dollar General and uh, it, was, it was a very pleasant surprise to see that. We have The Legend of Hercules 3D. And all on one disc uh but again another cheap 3d movie gotta have it all right now we have J jurassic world 3d in the lenticular slip cover and again i like chris pratt this movie was like two bucks so yeah of course i got it we have my latest find, found this not too long ago, uh, actually this weekend, and it is the Lego Batman 3D movie. Um, I just, uh, again, very cheap, had to get it, and uh, don't regret it. And we have the Lego 3D movie. Uh, I think I picked this one up at a Dollar Tree as well. The Life of Pi. This one I had to go and find it uh, on Amazon. But it's it's another one of those. Everyone says that you are supposed to have this in your 3D collection if you're collecting 3D movies. Mega Mind. Um, this is one that was interesting to me because it has the for promotional use only, not for rental, um, which means I think it came with a Samsung television and it's got all of the different ratings and stuff across the back. So 
I don't know. This is, this one's a weird one. Um, and I definitely want to say that it came, probably came packaged with a Samsung 3D television. We have the Little Mermaid in 3D. I know this was one of the more impressive finds for me. Um, I remember growing up with the Little Mermaid and watching it in middle school and stuff. And you know, it's, it's a pretty good movie. Here's one that I found in one of my local thrift stores and uh, yeah, it's still the old style uh, case, it has the slip cover, um, haven't watched this one yet, but I plan on getting to it. Next, Minions, picked this up in Second and Charles because it was in the kids section, it's CG and usually CG that is uh, three-dimensional or in 3D is actually pretty good. Um, yeah, yeah, and it's just the two movies, which is weird. I don't know why they did this case with just two discs, but apparently that's it. It's just the two discs. Pacific Rim 3D. This is one of the earlier ones that I found when I started collecting. Uh, and yeah, it's uh, this one's actually a lot of fun to watch in 3D. It's not as it's not like the best though. Percy Jackson and the Sea of Monsters in 3D. You know, I figured that the CG in this was probably going to be pretty good. So, so uh, the jury's still out on this one. Don't know if it's if they did an excellent job with it. And we have pixels in 3D. And yeah, for some reason my, oh yeah, it just got ripped up, but uh, it's it's a movie about video games in 3D. Of course I had to get it. Point Break 3D. I think, I want to say this was like the second 3D movie I ever got. Um, but it's the remake of Point Break. Uh, no, no, no luck in having Keanu Reeves in 3D. Here's another old style case. Uh, Priest in 3D. Uh, you can tell it was back when they were very proud about 3D because of the large on the, on the top and they had not printed the 3D cases. But I think it's a pretty good movie. I was very happy with it. Ready Player One in 3D. Yes, 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 yes. This is excellent. Do not, if you have the ability to watch this in 3D, do not pass it up. Resident Evil Afterlife in 3D. Uh, this one's kind of an interesting one just because like when you open it up and you take off that, it, it's the background. So they even made the case kind of 3D, which that's kind of neat. Um, I have not watched this particular one. I have seen Afterlife before, but I have not seen it in 3D. We have San Andreas 3D. Uh, yeah, another cheap, easy to, this one's actually pretty easy to find, um, but it's a, a, just another cheap 3D movie and one to add to the collection, add to the backlog. Now, Tinkerbell is kind of an interesting thing. Uh, again, this is a 3D movie and they, they say there's a bonus adventure and stuff. Uh, I know the person that suggested to Disney that when they were looking for a character for girls to identify with, he suggested Tinkerbell. So yes, I know the person who's at fault for the Tinkerbell craze. Also, my granddaughter absolutely loves Tinkerbell. Um, she might have outgrown that phase, but there's just a lot of good memories and it's a 3D movie. Stalingrad. This is one that I kind of agonized on whether or not to get because the price was kind of high. I think it was like eight bucks or something. 
Um, but the cast doesn't look terrible. Um, and I don't think I was going to ever find this again. So I just, yeah, I just had to get it. We have Star Trek Into Darkness 3D. It's a Star Trek movie. It's 3D. I have not watched it yet. Um, yeah, I, I plan on watching it and I'm kind of a Trekkie. Suicide Squad 3D. Uh, say what you will, I kind of enjoyed the movie a little bit. I just kind of sat back and let it be a popcorn movie for me. Um, yeah, you know, and Margot Robbie is, as you know, Harlequin is not bad on the eyes. Uh, we have Shrek 3D, the complete collection for promotional use only, not for retail. Again, I think this was packaged with a 3D Samsung television um, because it has all of these different things where it's like released in multiple regions. These are actually only the 3D movies as well. So we've got the first Shrek. We've got the second Shrek. We've got the third one, but oh no, you have to do a mail away to get the fourth one. And this person still had the mail away cardboard. And I checked with Samsung, they will not honor this without a receipt for the Blu-ray. And they're also out of stock on the, the fourth movie. But never fear, folks. Yes, I got it anyways. I got a different copy of it and I thought about taking the 3D movie out of this one and, and putting it in this one but for some reason in my brain that seems wrong um, especially since the disc arts don't match like they they kind of cheaped out and just did a screen of the lettering and stuff and didn't do a full artwork so I think it would just look out of place next Tangled 3D haven't watched this one. I have a feeling that this one will be a blast to watch just because I actually liked the Tangled movie and uh, just all the comedy on it and it's pretty good. Next, Terminator Genesis 3D. I know, I know, not exactly the best storytelling here. However, uh, it's a 3D movie and I picked it up for a dollar. This is masterful in 3D. I, I, I don't know how else to say this. This movie, the lightning effects, uh, the way everything flows, um, the way that it's, that they use the 3D to highlight how powerful Thor is, is really good. I don't think this particular one is on people's lists as a must own, but it's definitely on mine. And we have Thor the Dark World. Haven't watched this one yet, but I'll get to it. And then we have The Three Musketeers. It's a remake of probably another remake. Um, haven't watched it. I kind of hope that it's good, but jury's still out. This. Okay. Both me and Chris Pico are massive, massive Tron fans. Uh, he got into it for the cinematography. I love it because it was, there was a, a video store a long time ago that was a mom and pop shop. They had the original Tron, and I watched that movie, I think, 10 times um, before that place shut down. And once I saw that you could get Tron Legacy in 3D, and all I had to do was order it from Europe, I did. Now, I have seen this, I've seen US copies of this, uh, but it's the same as the Alice one where you had to do a mail away to Disney to get the 3D version. Uh, that's the only other versions that I've seen of this. This movie is excellent on its own in 3D, like the, the, the deadly disc fights are, are awesome. You, uh, you're missing out. You're missing out if you don't watch it in 3D. Then we have 
Turbo Deluxe Edition. It's one of those ones where it's like they don't, they, they barely advertise it here and it's barely advertised right down here and stuff. But yeah, uh, I've seen Turbo. I have not watched the 3D version. Again, it is a, uh, it is a, is this DreamWorks? Yeah, this is DreamWorks. Um, it is a DreamWorks CG animated 3D movie. And honestly, um, I think they're gonna knock it out of the park, but I haven't seen it yet. Then we have World War Z 3D. Uh, <clears throat> I've seen World War Z, I have not seen the 3D. Considering that most of the zombies are... No, that's wrong. <clears throat> I cannot remember if the zombies are CG in this or practical. Uh, but, you know, Brad Pitt, this movie was also a dollar and stuff. So yeah, um, that's uh, that's all of my normal 3D Blu-ray movies. And I've got one more, one more. The absolute final one for this is my cop, my 4K Ultra HD copy of Battle Angel Alita. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's got the ultra HD Blu-ray, it's got the 3D Blu-ray. I love Battle Angel Alita. Uh, I never really got into the manga, but I had the VHS and then I turned around and I got my hands on the normal DVD anime. These are the animes and stuff. This is the live action movie that they did with a lot of CG in it. And this is really good. And it's one of the few newer release movies where they actually included the Blu-ray 3D. Um, yeah, but I keep this with my 4K collection of movies as opposed to the 3D because uh, black case and I don't like things that stick out like a sore thumb. But that's it, guys. Um, that's my entire collection. Uh, if you have any questions about any of these movies or like the quality of 3D and stuff like that, either myself or Chris Pico might be able to speak to that. But yeah, that's it. Have a great day. Well, that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. I have videos on the 1st and 15th of every month, and look forward to sharing them with you. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.